What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the World's TV YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow so you don't miss out on any of this brand spanking new content moving forward. So this is Deion Sanders after he first was hired as the new Colorado head football coach. And this is his press conference to the players, you know, players meeting, which I believe his one of his sons does all like the social media stuff. And this is a clip pretty much telling, you know, all the players like, hey, y'all better find a new team. Y'all better enter the transfer portal because half y'all are not going to be back on the roster come next year. Let's hear what Deion had to say. We got a few positions already taken care of because I'm bringing my luggage with me. Mm, mm. See, we got a few positions already taken care of because I'm bringing my luggage with me, a.k.a. the quarterback position is already filled. It's done. All right. Shador Sanders, Deion's son, is already going to be quarterback at that school. Deion's Sanders press conference pretty much say, yeah, Shador's coming with me. That's QB number one. He's going to have to earn it, but that's QB number one. So we already know it was the worst kept secret in the world that if Dion transferred to another school that he went to Colorado, both of his sons who play with them at Jackson State are also coming with them to Colorado. So you already got the quarterback position taken up. You already got the cornerback position taken up. And pretty sure I believe that five star recruit Travis Hunter is also coming with them as well as also a few a plenty of his assistant coaches. So what else is Deion Sanders gonna say to the lovely Colorado men's football team? And it's Louie. Oh and it's Louie. Okay. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no more of a mess that these wonderful fans, the student body, and some of your parents have put up with for probably two decades now. I'm coming. And when I get him, it's gonna be changed. So I want y'all to get ready to go ahead and jump in the portal and do whatever you're gonna get. Because the more you jump in, the more room you make. You see, I don't like that. I, I don't like that 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 comment at all. So I want y'all to go ahead and get ready to jump in the portal, he says. And do whatever you're going to get because the more of you jump in, the more room you make. So you're pretty much encouraging these players to, hey, get the fuck up out of here. I already got some spots that I already want to fill. And most of my players who I coached at Jack State are going to come with me to Colorado. It's like this. Obviously, this is was already a pre-planned a pre tactic. Now, yes, Colorado football has been fucking awful. They are like, what, 1-11 last seasons? They only had two winning seasons since 2005. Two winning seasons in damn near 20 years. That is pathetic. But as a college athlete, and seeing the rigors of what these college athletes had to face, it is fucking rigorous, man. You are putting more time into the sport than being a student, okay? So just because, you know, your work, your, your effort, on the practice field doesn't translate to end game doesn't mean that you're not doing your job you're not putting the effort you're not putting the time to your craft it just means that the cohesiveness is off you could be a great player just on a shitty team so the fact that for Dion to make that comment say hey y'all you know y'all y'all team sorry all y'all guys is sorry most of y'all are not gonna be back on this team next year go ahead i advise you push you encourage you go ahead and get into the transfer portal because i'm bringing my luggage i'm bringing my players and my coaching staff with me it's like hold on you a fucking coach now yes your job is coming and win games but also you're supposed to mentor these young students into kids a responsibility even though the fucking university is a C like that. But when a parent sends their son or daughter to college, especially when they are playing a sport, they are entrusting in that head coach to not only look after their child, but to guide them to be a better person than they walked in coming out. You, Your job as a coach to help elevate and involve the students to be a better person once they leave that university after four years you tell them like yo yeah hey, listen you guys want to get the fuck up out of here go ahead now some of you guys might say oh this is tough love this is how Deion sanders goes but it's like bro 
you're not even one full day on the job. You ain't even honor your commitment at Jackson State. You gave the impression that you was going to stay there for the long haul. That you was going to put Jackson State on, on, on a big pedestal. That you are going to bring more eyes to not only that university, but to that football program, to the fans, to the student body. Yeah, you did that, but you bounced. You gave the impression that you were there for the long haul, not two, three years. That's why people upset about Deion Sanders leaving Jackson State, going to a bigger school. It's not the fact that he was hired and given an opportunity at a bigger school. It was the fact that he gave the fans an impression that he was there for Jackson State for the long haul. And soon as a sorry ass football team at the University of Colorado offered him the bag, $5 million with a $2 million incentive, pretty much giving his total for the year at seven mil came in with the bag he's like jackson state you're 300 mil bob and this is why hbcus can't compete with the pwis because the pwis is just going to continue to have more resources where they can take a guy a name like Deion sanders and just snoop him away they can't compete we don't have the funding. We don't have the resources. Deion Sanders, a household name, is going to come in and help change life for that university. A Hall of Fame player. A two-sport professional athlete. Man got connections and businesses everywhere. And he couldn't really help, but he did. But he decided he didn't really fulfill his promise to 100% of the degree. Now, Deion Sanders has done a lot of great things for Jackson State. I'm not taking a damn thing he's done he's built them new facilities new locker rooms he gave them a lot of new jerseys and stuff like that he has done a lot of great things for that university's football program but you didn't stay for the long haul or the impression that you were going to be there for the long haul and this is why hbcus are looking we can't compete with the pwis if a small school like jackson state a HBCU had one of the, if not the best Hall of Fame cornerback in history. A household name. They had Snoop Dogg on the sideline of games. Wallow and Gilly on the sideline of games at their homecoming. That's not going to be there anymore. Because Dion's not going to be there anymore. You, There's not going to be an interest for those celebrities to come to Jackson State. Why? Dion's not there no more. The student body who applied to Jackson State. They're going to be like, yeah, you know, I can't wait. They mainly applied to go to that school to go see that man coach. Now that he's no longer going to be there, that enrollment at Jackson State is going to go down, which means that their profitability is going to go down as well. Nobody's going to go apply to, to Jackson State and be like, yeah, I can't wait to go to the school that Deion Sanders used to coach at. That's the issue. I don't like that message. I hate it. Because we bring kids that are smart. Say that smart. Smart. Tough. Tough. And, and that's the end of the clip. But I don't like that message at all. You know, Dion is a very brutally honest individual. But he got to be brutally honest with himself. You were seen. I'm not calling him a sellout. But you were seen as a sellout to many of the fans many of the people especially at that university it's like bro nobody really wanted you as a coach like that like yeah okay you could have you had an assistant not a head coach an assistant coaching job at your alma mater florida state you didn't had a resume to show that you can be a head coach jackson state said you know what dion we gonna give you the opportunity this is the most that we can offer you without going bankrupt here's three hundred thousand dollars a year dion said you know i'll take it i'm gonna build my resume I'm going to preach the choir. And then once I get what I want, a job comes up to me that's at a bigger name school with better resources, I'm bouncing. That's how it comes across to people. And you can see why they don't like that. It's like a relationship. You giving your partner reinsurance. You get with the girl, you get with a guy. You know, you like, baby, I love you. I can't, you know, I'm going to ride with you. I, and you guys talk talk about your future. Oh, my God, I can't wait to buy a house. We have kids. I'm with you till the wheels fall off. I love you so much. We in this for the long haul. And then a year or two later into the, into the relationship, one of y'all bounces. And be like, oh, I found somebody else that's better. Of course, you're not going to be happy about that. He's like, hold on. You told me and gave me all this reinsurance that you in this with me for the long haul. Till the wheels fall off. And then you leave a year or two later. Nobody's going to be happy about that. Come on, man. 
I don't like that message from Dion. I hate it. But let me know what you guys think about this. You know, was Dion right or wrong for saying to the Colorado football players, hey, you guys just better transfer and get into the transfer portal because we already got positions filling up. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.